Shalom. Kah Laimla Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakadash. All praises be to the Most High Yahweh. In the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives on freedom to do so and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad in double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled Sakari, this is going to hurt. So this group, Sakari, are promoting a false doctrine. One of its members, going by the name of Alizar, has crowned himself the chief high priest. And this particular character here in front of us goes by the name of Hakad. And in his mind, we are to dismiss the book of Hebrews. So using the Bible today, I'm going to prove to you without the shadow of a doubt that this man has a strong demonic spirit on him, a deceiving, lying spirit. We're going to prove that today. And if you're still following Sakari, then you deserve exactly what you get. So without further ado, let's let the video play. Let's continue. The Levitical priesthood, because they believe that Paul wrote Hebrews. You can't. He's talking about us, great millstone. Prove that. Niggas will put a book that they don't even know the author of over Torah, which is Christian. This is Hebrews 13 and 25. Grace be with you all. Amen. Written to the Hebrews from Italy by Timothy. Now, <laughs> that's as plain as it gets, okay? The book of Hebrews was written by Timothy. Now, yes, you have, you know, scholars and all these people who say, well, the writing style was in the, the style of Paul and we believe this and we believe that. No, man. You see, if you're going to be in this truth, and if you're going to have faith that the Lord is all powerful and all willing, right, and able to do anything. Let's go into the meat and potatoes. We're going to delve right into the meat and potatoes. Let's get it. So we're going to start off here. So according to Sakari, we should not be reading the book of Hebrews because it's not spiritually inspired. Let's see. Let's go to the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 4. <clears throat> this is talking about Yahawashai. The book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 4. Being made so much better than the angels, as he have by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son." Let's see if that matches the Old Testament. The book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 6. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree of the Lord. Has said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. So what is this man or these gentlemen talking about? 
So if we discard the Old Testament or if we discard the New Testament, we're killing or trying to crucify, which means to cross out Yahweh Shai. You can't throw out the old without trying to damage the new. You can't throw out the new without damaging the old. And this is why if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you should not be teaching the Bible at all. Let's go back to that. Let's go back to Hebrews chapter 1. Verse 5. <laughs> For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. <clears throat> so the Most High is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man. Where did we get that? Well, let's go to Numbers 23 and 18. The book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? So they reject the Son of Man, Yahweh Shai, the angel of the Lord that went before us in the days of old and destroyed our enemies. There's more. So, Sakari, this is going to hurt. Let's go from there. The book of Hebrews. They said Hebrews is not valid. Let's see. The book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 9. Furthermore, we have fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much more be rather in subjection unto the Father of spirit and live? So we're going to read this again, but it's making reference to, guess what? The Old Testament and the first five books of Moses, the Torah or Torah. Let's read it again, because according to this demon or these demons, we shouldn't dismiss the book of Hebrews. Let's see. The book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 9. Furthermore, we had our fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Let's go to Numbers 27. Let's see where they're pulling that from. A book of Numbers, chapter 27, verse 16. Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation. See? See? the God or the Father of spirits. Let's read it again. <clears throat> Book of Numbers, chapter 27, verse 15. And Moses spake unto the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation. See? Hebrews 12 and 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection 
unto the father of spirits and live. So they're pulling from the Old Testament. And this mistake is common in false Christianity. Not understanding that the Old and New Testament fit like a hand in glove. Let's go to Hebrews 1, verse 7. Let's go to verse 6. And again, when he bringeth in the first gotten into the world, he saith, and let all the angels of God worship him. So Yahawashai is the chief high priest, the top angel of the Lord. Verse 7, and of the angels, he saith, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Did Paul and Timothy make this stuff up? Let's see. Let's go to the Old Testament. Number of Psalms, a book of Psalms, chapter 104, verse 4, who maketh his angels spirits spirits, his ministers, a flaming fire. No, Paul and Timothy made this stuff up. Let's go back to Hebrews 1, verse 7. And of the angels, he saith, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Let's go back, back to Psalms 104. Verse 4, who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire. Not looking too good for you, false prophets, novices, children that will not hear the word or the law of the Most High, rebellious and full of pride. Let's keep going. There's more. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 1, verse 13. <clears throat> the book of Hebrews chapter 1. Let's go to verse 12. And as a vesture shall thou fold them up, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy year shall not fail. Why? Because the Most High is the most ancient of days. However, he's going to change his elect of the house of Jacob. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we're going to put on new garments, which mean new bodies. We're going to become immortal. Let's read it again. Verse 12. And as a fester shall thou fold them up, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy year shall not fail. But to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool? Let's address verse 13. Let's go to the Old Testament. A book of Numbers, a book of Psalms, chapter 110, verse 1. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. See that? Let's go back to Hebrews 13. Hebrews chapter 1. Verse 13, but to which of the angels said he at any time, sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool? That's Yahweh Shai. So they reject Yahweh Shai. That's why they're, bug they're bugged out of their mind. Because they reject Yahweh Shai. Go to, uh, let's see something here. One moment. I'm 
trying to remember where this last scripture is at. Um, let's go back to Hebrews 1, verse 12. And as a vesture shall thou fold them up, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. There's a precept here that I want to get. I'm trying to remember where it's at. It's in Psalms. I think it's Psalms 25. I think this is it. Yes, this is it. Psalms 102, verse 26. They shall perish, but thou shalt endure. Yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment, as a vesture shall thou change them, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall have no end. See that? Let's go back to Hebrews chapter 1, verse 12. And as a vesture shall thou fold them up, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. Psalms 102 Verse 26, and we'll close out. They shall perish, but thou shalt endure. Yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment. As a vesture shall thou change them, and they shall be changed. That's the elect. Are going to become immortal and occupy the kingdom of heaven. Verse 27, but thou art the same, and thy years shall have no end. Matches what? Hebrews 1 and 12. So, Sakari, I told you, this is going to hurt. You are defeated. You're done. Dismiss. Rest in peace. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rekakadash. Double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Much respect and honor to the men that's doing the work and the sisters of the hopeful elect following this true gospel. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. We got next, Lord willing, Kwame Sharala, and Abba Baba, Shalom.